Everyone is looking to improve the quality of CPR in their community, and I applaud you for making this effort. There is a science involved in learning. For example, small imperfections matter. Skills are perishable. Improvements depend on measurement. So let's explore why these things matter and why it affects the quality of CPR. Letter-perfect CPR is critical because every detail of how we do it has an effect on outcome. Let me give you a couple of examples. We all know the importance of compression rate and compression depth. Did you know that if we deviate one half inch below the two inches of recommended chest compression depth, survival falls by 50%. Another example, time and interruptions in CPR make a huge difference. Did you know that for every five seconds that we increase hands-off time before a defibrillation shock, survival will fall by 18%. Just some examples of how the details of how we perform CPR influence outcome and frankly determine the life or death of the patient we're caring for. CPR skills are fragile and they're perishable. Unless they're reinforced periodically, they're a skill we can rapidly lose. The common model for certification in CPR is certification every two years. But a number of studies have shown that skills deteriorate far sooner. Within a month or two of certification, the skill is potentially compromised or even lost, which means confidence doesn't necessarily mean competence. So how do we achieve competence in maintaining CPR skills? The answer is by frequent, low-dose, high-frequency retraining. People talk about building muscle memory, and muscle memory is built by practice, putting what we know about CPR into our hands, into a mannequin, with feedback coming back from that mannequin that tells our brain what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. Putting those together, doing periodic retraining with that kind of feedback, building that muscle memory, results in retaining skills, and ultimately saving lives. When it comes to CPR, we feel very strongly in training and performance. This includes measurement and improvement and low dose, high frequency training. Remember, every patient in cardiac arrest depends on you. To save a life is as if to save a universe.